Bro, I still ain't left, bro. I think still full. You know, I talk, bro. I'm, I t bro, look, but I, I don't be talking about no bullshit, though. I can, but I'll choose not to. Hey, let me tell y'all niggas how to make $15,000 real quick, okay? Legal money. I forgot I should just get this out. Because you could be, I, I just thought about it. People stuck at their mama house. People stuck in there like, damn, I need a little, come up a little boost in life, right? Okay, look. I'm going to tell you right now from jump. Nine, five of it is going to be your loan, right? But look, there's, there's ways you can structure your loan to where it won't affect your credit right now. Well, well it, it'll show that you borrowed it, you feel me? But it won't be negative. And it won't, um, and you don't have to make payments until you want to. There's a plan. I'm going to tell you all that, okay? So I'm just telling you right, right now. Nine, five is going to be uh, a loan. And I think six, six of it, six, five of it is going to be un uh, subsidized. And, and uh, three, three, five is going to, or four, five is going to be unsubsidized. No, what I say, 6,000 is going to be subsidized and 3.5 is going to be unsubsidized, okay? And what I mean is we got a community college, like we got Los Rios district in our thing, right? Okay. They offer, if you have a high school diploma or a, a GED and they also offer something there that you got a high school equivalency test, right? You have to get in for these summer classes because the way they break down their tuition, I mean, the way they do their um, financial aid is, it goes fall, first one, winter is your second one and then summer is your last one if you go to if you go to school in the last semester they have to give you all your money on that grant so that if you're great they have to give it to you that's legal money that's not no no scamming no you can give you right there's no none of that shit you can use your id you feel me no scamming I, i'm just telling people like so basically meaning that is so if you get on summer classes summer class like eight weeks or something like that right so you'll you'll apply for it and they'll give it to you 30 days. They'll give you your first, your Pell Grant money. They'll give it to you, um, say you start on a Tuesday. They'll give it to you on Friday. So that'd be three days, right? So in three days, they'll give you half of 6,000. Well, Pell Grant's what, six, uh, what's Pell Grant? $6,000, right? Yeah. So they give you 3,000 that Friday. Then three weeks from that Friday, you'll get your nine five all in one payment, right? And then right after, like a week after you get that, you'll get your last $3,000 payment. So, within 30 days, you can get $15,000 legally. Now, I will tell you, like I said before, nine five of it is a loan. We all know what loans mean, right? You have to pay them back. But there's a way you can structure it to where it doesn't impact, impact your credit. You can pay as you go. And I can tell you about some programs that forgive you loans. But you got to get six months out of school or some shit like that. So... And then there's a way I can tell you, like, if you get through that summer program and you pass your classes, I can turn around and get you another 6000 plus another, well, I can get you damn near another 10000 in next semester. You feel me? So, with, realistically, I can get you $25,000 before the end of, before October. You feel me? All legal, though. No scam, nigga. You ain't got to look over your sh shoulder. You get to go to school or you go to class or you can stay home, nigga. You can get all home. You can get all computer classes at home. You feel me? All computer classes at home, bro. You don't have. All the thing you have to do is go up there, take an assessment test. You have to take an English and a math, right? And then you'll sign up for your. You pick your classes and then you go sign up for your financial aid. You want to at least sign up for. I'm telling you, a full load. You don't want to take. Oh, in the summertime, you probably only want to take. Uh, you probably just want to take one class because that'll get you financial aid. It's summertime. That's eight weeks. Now look, there's two ways you can go about it. Me, I just guessed on all my shit, uh, my assessment test, right? So they started me off on a class two plus two, my math class. I had to work my way up from that. Or read, nigga, I didn't care. Because once I figured out the loan process, I drug it out as long as I could. So I took the bottom math, I took the bottom English. I took the bottom, I'm just telling you ways you can do it. You can go operate within their channels. This is one way you can do it. You can guess. And get all like local level classes. So you can be you can take a math class in the summer, that's like a arithmetic class. So it'd be easy as fuck. You can do all your work, nigga. You literally you'll start on two minus one. Two like literally, nigga, like through the whole thing, right? So you can go that way. But so you can go that way, take that test, and then you can go back and retest after the summertime and take your real math level, take a real assessment, and get where you want to go. You feel me? That's just the way you can do it that way. Or you can just do it from jump. I always say do it from jump, do right from jump. Because you don't want to take all them slow ass classes, nigga. When you can be already be at math one hundred, I'm at one twenty right now. 
You feel me? So if I pass one, I can, I can go to state with 120 right now. I, I'm at bath three. I'm at English 302. I did my uh, my uh, world history 310. I did uh, nutrition 300, 305 or 300 some shit like that. I got hella 300 classes already, right? I had when they looked at my uh, when they when they looked at my um, my um, my transcript when I went to uh, 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 what was that? Um, is it at um, Post University, right? They fucking um. They said I had like 11, they had, I had like 11 classes, you feel me? That were able to transfer from ARC to, um, to post. Cause I gave them my transcript, I sent it over there and they did a little, you know how they do a little cross check or whatever. And they said I had 11 classes, I was worth it. I'm like, okay, you know, I mean, I, they could transfer over, but I had to go get the official. Don't go to post either. Post ain't cool, but anyway. But, um, so at the same time, let me see. I can tell you. That would probably be better if you just take that one arithmetic take class. And then I can tell you what I would do for this fall. I would take, because I took a boot camp class. I took a, my first English class. You could take one together for seven units. It's a writing and a reading. And for seven units, it'd be seven units. It's Corbin, Christy Corbin and something Prius. It's her name. I said ARC. You feel me? Bro, I learned, I still use the shit today that I learned. That was like my first semester of college. Nigga, you feel me? Or my second, my first or my second, but I still use shit from that class, bro. They were so good. It was a long ass class. It was seven units, nigga. So the class was seven units, nigga. Nigga, it was like a four or five hour class, nigga. It was, it was, it was kudos. They made it hella fun. But, um, so basically what you, all you want to do is if you're in it to really, if you're in it to just, let me see. If you just want to get the money real quick to go ahead, Take the easiest class as possible. If you know yourself, if you know you're just doing it, just get the money, you go pay it back later when you get. Take the easy classes. No, no fucking point. Take, take the classes. Actually, I take that back. Don't take the easy classes. Don't do that to yourself. That's ne it's never good to take anything easy. It's not going to ever work out for you. I'll tell you that right now. Don't do that. You're going to waste time. There's no point in wasting time. If you're going to be there, take a nutrition class. Something you can carry through life with you. A boot camp class. Get your body together. If you can do work in, uh, uh, circuit weight training and a boot camp. If you do them two motherfuckers together, bitch. Nigga, coach, uh, haggle, hargle, some shit like that. Bro? Nigga, I went in there, I was probably like 190. Nigga, I, when I left there, I was like 162. I'm running my last lap. He like Tim's. On on one of the days before the uh, before we had our final, he, he he's like, you go some way. You're not a dough boy no more. I, He was right though, I was pudgy. My first time, cause he was like, if you can't make this one lap within, I think he said like a minute 20 was the first day. He was like, I don't want you. And I'm like, wait, I need this for my loan money. So I'm like, I got a ring? I'm, I'm hella loaded, right? I'm hella loaded. I ain't gonna lie, I was loaded as hell. I took like two per, I was loaded as hell. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't think he was gonna run. He took us out there, I'm all, my pants is all sloppy. I'm thinking I'm clean, I'm all titties on my stomach. Nigga, I'm over here like, bro, I'm over here. Just like, bro, he's like, all right, you gotta run a lap in 120, I'm like, So anyway, I get to running. You feel me? I could I couldn't have no form. I'm looking all goofy and shit. You feel me? Neck looking all goofy trying to run, right and shit, bro. I didn't quit. That's what I'm that's what I'm getting to. I didn't quit. But the point is he saw me from the first day. Cause I talked to him. He would have private cuts. I used to cuss a lot. Like more than now. Like I used to cuss a lot. More worse than now. So he'd be like, Tim's. He's like, you got it all. He's like, but why do you curse so much? He's like, you don't have to curse. He's like, there's a time and place for everything. He's like, from my door, he said, from my door to the, um, what do you say? From the door to my car, I don't cuss. From my car to my office, I don't cuss. From my office to my car, I don't cuss. And from my, from, from his car to his door in his house, he don't cuss. He's like, did you get it? I was like, yeah, everywhere outside of your personal space. He's like, I'm like, okay. At the time, it, you know, you have good information. You just throw it in the back, right? You throw it in the back. Now I'm older. I go back to that file and I'm like, this was very good fucking information right here, right? You see, see that right there? But I always think about that. You know, I always try to be conscious of it. Like, how many people do you know that's like, 
motivational speakers and stuff like that. It was a little bit here and there with the punch there, but like everywhere, like fuck shit. Yeah, you know, fuck. I had to go over here, fuck. And then them fuckers had to go over there and fucking drink that fucking beer. No, they don't do that shit. They don't do that. They don't talk like that. You know I mean? Like they don't, they don't talk like that. I'm not saying behind closed doors, they ain't letting loose. But they're not, you know what I mean? They don't do that. But so long story short, just be just be mindful, bro. Always looking to grow. Opportunities. I told you how to get to 15. Go to your, get your assessment test. It's gonna be a math or a reading or math or English one. Go get your classes. Either pick the right classes, easy classes, or pick the ones that I will challenge you. I would I would uh, suggest a nutrition class, um, some child development class, because they teach you how to connect with your kids. They teach you a whole bunch of stuff that you probably you don't even know about. So some type of child development class, um, nutrition class, weight training boot camp, something that you could carry through life with you. If you're not gonna stay, you know what I mean. You pay back your money too, nigga. Don't just take the low and then take the dough and then be like I ain't gonna. Don't do that to yourself. It's okay if you need some help, but I'm, t I'm saying this not to get over. I'm saying this to help people get out of situations because $15,000 in 30 days, that can help a lot of people. And they don't have to start making payments to now anyway, so yes. And then before, and in October, you have another 10. Yeah, $25,000, that helps you, buddy. So, I just, like I said, I just wanna be here to help, bro. And if you need more information, hit me up. My email is um, aboogie. 23 at yahoo.com a boogie b-o-o-g-y 23 at yahoo.com uh, I understand y'all and I understand y'all we don't understand shit if you need me help I'll show you I'll show you you show me what state you're in show me the paperwork or whatever I can help you guide you through it or whatever I want everybody to win if they're giving out free money I'm gonna tell you how to get it without no scamming no scheming no looking over your shoulder none of that shit you feel me alright bro